Hi everybody, this is Debbie. Today I'm going to show you this design which I call Nouvelle Bois, which is French for New Way because it was kind of a new technique that I've incorporated in my um, two double-sided, you know, bracelets with different design on each side, but this is only a one-sided design. This was my first rendition and I had some issues with how the ends looked and whatnot so I worked it all out and I made a little short one here that all my um, bands are pretty much where I want them. This one I just used um, opaque and the purples are, well those are opaque too. Sometimes I consider the, those dark purple and the mango as a jelly band but it's, it's kind of flat where this one I used um, the sweets, the 600 count and what did I use for the, I guess just regular white. You can see it's um, a little bit raised which it gives it a nice profile. So anyhow, let's get on with how to do it. Okay. <sighs> All right, color A is going to be the border, and on this one I'm using, I love this color, the octopus dual, dual color, the white on the inside, and the awesome octopus purple. Um, that will be referred to as color A, which here it's the teal and white dual bands. Color B, um, the sweets blue, the ones that kind of run um, like little V-shapes. What color am I using for those? I am using a thicker band, which are the um, metallic whites. The third color, let me see. Hold on a second. Okay, the third color. Hmm. Wait a second. Ah, hold on a second. I'll be right back. I I didn't write some up. I wrote. Ah, I'm such a knucklehead. Okay. So we've got the border colors. Color A. The B colors, which are the blue, and I'm going to be using the white here. The C color is the white that goes up the center. I'm going to be using the pastel purple. And color D will is this, um, these are the metallic Michaels bands, which are kind of hard to use, but if you find the, the right placement for them, they make an awesome accent, like the maroon colored bands do here. For that color, I am going to be using um, the Caribbean green, Caribbean green. So we've got a, another fifth color, but we're not going to worry about that right yet. Okay, this is a six bar wide. Wait, one, two, three, five, excuse me, five. <laughs> That's why I have the number five right, written right here. Ugh. Probably should not do this right now because I'm flubbing up, but let's keep pushing forward. Okay, for my cap band, I'm actually going to be using, I use the color C, which goes up the center here. So it's a kind of a continuum. So in mine, it's the pastel purple. So I am going to be putting two there for now. And then we are going to take our A color and just do the bottom four bands for the border. This is a little bit unusual in how I do all this, but this is how I got to that, which I really like it. I don't think um, on camera does it justice. It's, it's very, very pretty, I think. Okay, so after we do this, 
I'm just going to leave that. And we are going to take our color B, the Sweets Blue. And we're going to just all the way up like this. Okay, so it's going to take a while to do that. So do that all the way up to the second to the last set of pins. Okay, this is how it looks. I hopefully won't regret using um, these super thick bands because it will elevate this even more. But I'm going for it. I believe in this design. I have faith in it. <laughs> okay, um, now we are going to be placing our um, color C, which are the white, and I'm using the purple. So those are just going to be straight up. All the way to here. And then you will use your color D. Take your color D, which I'm using the Caribbean green. And go all the way up each side all the way to the end. So you're going to have three single chain rows of bands on top. Okay? So just one, two, three. And I will be back after those are placed. Alrighty. Um, my three rows of bands are placed all the way to the end of the loom or to where, you know, however long you want to make it. Um, it's kind of hard to see. I'm choosing, using light colors here. Um, it's kind of a by faith color scheme. Um, this one, I spent a long time getting my colors, so I really liked how they looked. So this is a big commitment, <laughs> a lot of bands. And I'm using my pastel, so you know I'm really sticking my neck out because I'm using two of my pastel colors. Well, you don't know about this one yet, so I'm getting ahead of myself. So now we are going to turn the loom around and loop out some of the bands. So I'm going to cap the center here. I'm double capping it with the same color that I put the little um, connector bands on this end. So here we go. State, this is the first stage of looping, which I'm sure other people have probably done this before, but as I've said in other tutorials, I, I really don't have the strength and energy and stamina to go past my own, you know, looming and, and tutorials. Although I do try to catch everybody's um, post on Instagram because I do want to see what you're doing, but I don't get to see your techniques and see what advancements are being made and what brilliant ideas are being hatched. Okay, so first do this band and then do the second band on top. And then you're going to reach under and grab this, what is this, the B color? No, the horizontal ones. Bring this up like that. And then you're going to reach under here, and this one's the one on the top. They should. This one all should be, if you do it this, place one side and the other side, they should all be this way. Hold on a second, I'll be right back. Alrighty, sorry for that interruption, but I never want to want to miss a call for my sweetie. First, first of all, because I love hearing his voice after all these 30-something years. I still love hearing it. Plus, he's half my memory. <laughs> he's always reminded me to sue him. Sure enough, I spaced out on something I was supposed to be tending to. But he is so... He should be awarded saint status in the hereafter because... Dang, I don't know how he can deal with everything I have to deal with. All right, anyways, so then you take the second band and bring it up. 
and then take its end and bring it over here. And of course push the bands down as you go because we've got more work to do, more bands to place. Okay, so the sequence all the way up to the end will be first taking one center band, bringing it up. Taking the one on top first, bring it over here. You're reaching underneath these bands. And then here, they're kind of, you know, there's nothing to catch them. So the bands would all fall apart if you didn't do something with them. So you take that top one and bring it over here. And do the same on this side. Straighten out any curving of the, you know, they start twisting, you just want to straighten them out. I'll do this a couple more times, but it's it's pretty basic. I'll go slow. Take the top band, which is the single chain, and bring one to the pin above it. Reach underneath. See how so this is stretching? Whoops. I'm reaching underneath this um, Caribbean green band, pulling it out and bringing it to the pin above. Then take its other half, which is right here, the band on top, and bring it here. Then you do the same on this side. Reach underneath the green band, bring it to the pin above, and it'll go down here and grab its bottom half and bring it out. So it's kind of doing a, a twist, you know, okay. <laughs> can't see me, but you know, it's twisting. Bring this one straight up. Take this one from underneath and bring it forward to this pin above. Grab its half, which is the top half, it's the top band, and then Bring the, the same to the other one. Okay, one more time. Bring the center forward. Reach underneath the band, the green band. Bring the white band up to the next pin. And then grab its other half, which is on the top, and bring it over here, and do the same with this side. And you don't want to forget this last one here because when you pull it off, you'll just have one loose um, band sticking out. I mean, you could probably tuck it in, but it won't be perfect. All right, I'm going to go finish and Pretty much you're gonna do it all the all the way to these last to this last pin. Alright, I'll be back. Oh boy. I'm not sure why I'm doing an extended length for demonstration's sake. But I don't know, it's like I'll do a short band bracelet and it turns out awesome. You're bummed that you didn't make it full length, full wrap. Then there's a, ooh, used all those bands and it looks like that. <laughs> okay, um, just make sure, just do a quick check that you have your bands all looped out and that they're pushed down on both sides. Okay, I'm pretty sure I didn't goof. Now, very important, turn the loom back around so the arrows are pointing away from you because now we have to add um, our decolored bands, which are these neon green right here. I love that color so much. I'm using pastel. It's either the pastel pink or the camouflage lighter shade of pink. Okay, now I found through trial and error to do this. 
just place one of the A bands. We will eventually be placing them up the side, but right now, just place one here like that, and then start your placement of your D bands, your E colored bands. So it's going to look like that. This we'll be putting up here later on, but for now, we are just going to do zigs like a zigzag, like a z but it makes kind of like a Z. See the little Z pattern? So you go all the way up. Your last band will be right here, okay? Then you're also going to do it on this side. We have this band under here. And if not, we can lift this band after later and put it on. But this just makes it a little easier. So just do both sides. Pushing them down so you have room. Okay, so you're just going to continue all the way to your last band will be the horizontal one right here. Are you ready? See you in a second. Horror upon horror. I had to break open a new bag of bands. Oh, if I want more of that exact shade of pink, I'm going to have to sort. Yikes! I hate sorting. Okay, back to business. That's how it looks. Your final Z is right here. And then a backward Z over here. All right. Next step, bring out your A bands, which are the border. Border bands, which are the teal, green, and white dual bands here. Now, I do this so, um, do it this way so it can lock in this pink one or it kind of sticks out and looks dumb. So you're just going to take this and put it like that. Okay, so, so it's under the pink here but over the pinks here. Alright. And then you just do that up the side and with these dual layer you definitely want to be careful of not twisting them because they're hard to fix if they start out twisted because then you will have it locked in that twisted position. Okay, so you're going to do up each side all the way to where this pink band is or the this last the top of the Z and just stop there because you have to do a little finagling up there to make it look nice and neat. Okay, so on this side again, your band, and if and if you forgot to put it there, you know, all you have to do is take lift this band temporarily, put this band down, put it over like that, and then lay this one down. Super simple. Okay. I don't know. I maybe I'll just stay on mine. I stay on mine. <laughs> stay on camera and do this. No, you know what? I'm going to go off camera so I don't stress out about having twisted dual layer bands. Be back in a second. Alrighty. Make sure you've taken the time to push your bands down too without them rolling over so that you have room. Okay, now the last bit you're going to stretch one band like this and then one over here. Now you will take your hook, grab your cap, temporarily take it off, just make sure it doesn't, I guess it's not going anywhere, but place one like this, push down, place one like this. And then put your cap back on the pin. Now we're ready to turn it around and do our final sequence of being the bands. I don't know. These colors look nice on on the loom, so hopefully they'll they'll still look nice um, 
wants to take it off. Okay. They're ready. I'm going to start by reaching under and grabbing the top band, which for me goes to the left. And then taking the other border band, this one right here that's at the angle. Okay, and that's all you're going to do of the border bands for now. And you can do this whole side and then do the other side. So now we're going to reach under the border band, grab the bottom of the Z bands. I call them Z bands. Z bands. <laughs> and then you don't have to really go over here. You can kind of go off to the side and grab the, this diagonal band and place it here. And then pull this one out. Don't go too crazy because you don't want to twist these bands, especially if you are using the dual side sided bands. So you're just going to do this all the way up until you have looped out all your zigzag bands. Okay? So you do it out to this last one up to this pin. And on this side, it'll look like this. Same except mirror image. Bring this here. What are you doing, bird? My bird's next to me. You just pooped on my mouse pad. Look at that bird. Come on, say hi to everyone. There he is. You guys get to see Hutch every once in a while. Hey, Hutchie. Come here. Say hi. Look at that bird. Come here. Come here. Come here. Never mind. I scan up. Eat a bird. Okay, back to business. So as on, you know, on this side too, you will just do these first two, this one and this one, and then you'll reach under both these bands, pull out this band, and reach in between the looped band and grab that one. Reach under. And carefully bring this one here and reach in the center and grab. And you're just going to do that all the way up. And you know, you definitely want to push these down. I mean, you could do it now or wait till you've looped them all because we still have to put these, we'll have to bring those straight up and then we'll be doing the border bands. All right, I don't think I need to show you any more of that so. I've got to chase my bird down and stop him from eating my bands. He likes to chew those up. No bird. <laughs> uh, okay, make sure you push all these down so you have room for the um, looping the other bands. So that's how the last two of your zigzag bands should look. Next. Well, the rest of the design pretty is pretty much just um, kind of like single chain. Okay, reach under here and be really careful. I'm going to have to remember to make a notation. These need to be stretchy bands because if they break, there's no fixing. <laughs> no fixing it. Maybe, maybe using some um, dental floss to hold that part together, but slowly pull these bands out. They're going to be a little strange because they are stretched so it will not make a full it kind of makes a rain uh, a raindrop shape. But just take your time make sure it slowly pulls out and you're going to do that on both sides. And I'm definitely going off camera to do this so I don't start rushing and break one of these bands. But um, the Caribbean Caribbean green are fairly are nice and stretchy so I hopefully won't have any problems. So far so good. Everything's still intact. 
I'm really loving the colors here. Hope um, they look nice when I pull it off. I really like this because it's like striking. All right, the last thing we are going to do is see, this is the um, border band. Not too much tension on here, but they will not make a um, teardrop shape. So what you're going to do is just do both sides. See how it's kind of just right there? Okay, you're going to do both sides all the way up to this final middle pin. And again, I'm going to go off camera because then I can lean back against the sofa and not have to sit upright for so long. Alrighty, it's ready for the big reveal. All we have to do is get it off the loom without breaking any bands. Okay, I'm going to grab these two. And pull them out like this. Pop my trusty kit. I think they should make like, not necessarily silver plated or gold plated, but they should make like kind of good quality metallic looking ones. So, you know, they look, it looks nicer. All right. The big reveal. Drum roll, please. And it's going to have to be one of you guys because I cannot roll my R's. <laughs> it don't work. So I guess I'd be in trouble if I had my parents only spoke French. They were brought up um, speaking French. English was their second language. But they never taught us how to speak French because they spoke a French-Canadian dialect and didn't want to mess me up in school when I took three years of Parisian French in school. So now I can speak new French. All right. Probably it wouldn't do well with the Spanish language either. Do Italians roll their R's? Yeah, I think they're the ones that roll them the most, right? I don't know why I can't do it bothers me because I think it's such a cool sound. I can't. My little half Mexican granddaughter, she can just, she'll tease me. She'll just go, she'll just roll our just as fast as could be and she'll put her face out towards mine. Just like, nanny, nanny, grandma, look what I can do and you can't. <laughs> Kids. All right. Pull this layer off. Jabbing, gabbing too much, um, not paying attention to being careful about taking this off. I sure hope this looks nice. And it's hard when they come off the loom, or come off the braces, I should say. Because there's nothing to pull against. fall apart. Okay, I know some of this. Yeah, y'all know what I'm talking about. We need braces. We need braces. <laughs> Big wide braces. so pretty. Now, now, where is it? Either use some, your fingers, ah, where'd it go? My toothpick. Where's my toothpick? I need my toothpick. You see, to make these bands prominent, it's kind of like, um, the bandeau, 
bandeau stitch where I bring one over and the other and it makes those pretty little, let's see, hold on, hold on, this is, an, this is more bandeau than my bandeau design, but you know how they make the little, like this, and if you use your fingers or a toothpick, um, especially like, like this one, one shows and the other one doesn't, so you just definitely want to pull it out so they look like this and not like this. Is, can you see that? See, this one looks better. This one doesn't because this one is a little hidden. So you just you just want to pull them out. And I'm not going to do all of them because it's kind of tedious. Oh, by the way, I like to go off camera so I can turn the TV on. <laughs> Catch up on my shows. I usually just do all, like, I think I've told you before, all my news type programs where you don't have to watch. I mean, I'm not going to watch like a Nat Geo show while I'm got my head bent over. Okay. So, as you can see, I just did those three here, and it definitely looks nicer than these. So, um, check this out on Instagram and, and or, I don't know if I'm going to be using this one as my thumbnail on on YouTube. I'll probably use this one because it's it's more striking. <coughs> but I like this. <coughs> Choke my spit. And also, these are a little loose here. You know, you can pull this, pull them like this way to make them more even. But I have noticed that overnight when they're kind of in stretch shock, they um they settle down overnight or over a few days. Of course, a few days. I've gone back designs where I've been a little kind of, oh, well, it's kind of messy looking. And then I pull it out. It's like, what happened to the mess? <laughs> so um, they definitely tighten up. And I think when you see the photograph of this, well, actually, I'm going to take a photograph right after this. So I don't know. Anyhow, there she is. Huh. I thought those big thick bands would make, you know what, uh, these were reused bands, so they're, the, um, they were kind of stretched out, so I think it's because the, partly because of the thickness and partly because of the tightness that it makes this dimension. This one is flatter, which is nice, either way. So anyhow, thank you so much for watching my nouveau, <sighs> nouvelle voix, yeah. I only took three years of French and grew up listening to French all my life, and I still can't speak it properly. Anyways, thank you for watching. I think I already said that. I'm tired. It's after midnight. Um, be sure to, you know, if you want, subscribe to me at Deb's thing on Deb's Thing, and check me out on Instagram at Deb's Thing, and if you would like, follow me. I will not be disappointed. Thank you so much.